What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Let's Play Minecraft with Brian and Greg. I'm Greg. That's Brian. I'm Brian. That's Greg. Hey. It's, hey, Greg. It sounded like you said, what's up, every B? Really? Yeah. Like My voice is starting to go. I got, Jared Petty came into work sick the other day. Mm -hmm. Got me sick. Now, I was sick on thir Friday. I didn't come to work. Now, I'm starting to feel like it's starting to wear me down. I'm what? wondering how much more. Here's the problem, Brian. Mm-hmm. Every day you and I do these Minecraft commentaries. Yep. We took a week off because work got crazy here. Yep. Now we're back. Yep. We're trying to do a whole bunch in one day. I can tell you right now my voice is not going to last the whole day. Really? I'm worried if we're going to get through enough for this week. We, oh, really? We need three more. My you voice is starting to go. Well, and it's one of those I'd rather conserve it, come back tomorrow, and knock them out. Okay. Okay. I can do that. I mean, we got a meeting here. I will readdress after the meeting. All right. I don't, I don't think you should. Don't yell. I, I, but the, see, the thing is, like, everybody Stop. always says. You're but, yelling. See, that's the thing. Okay. People always say. Greg, you're so loud. I don't know that I'm loud. I'm very hard of hearing. A lot of people don't know this about me. Like really? Colin yells at me all the time to turn down the AMC sound system in the living room. I don't mean to be loud. I just can't hear it with otherwise. Interesting. I think my fiance is like that, too. She's not a very loud person, though. But I, mm. when she watches TV, it's very loud. I'm like, yeah. honey, nobody cares about these housewives. They're desperate. loud as hell. They're very desperate. Are, they, are these the real ones? Some of them are real. Some are desperate. Some okay. of them are really desperate. Gotcha. Um, I didn't know you were hard of hearing. That's interesting. Yeah. I mean, it's not like, I mean, like, I doubt I could, like, it's not like I'm disabled or something, but I didn't I'm say not that. Deaf. I, I mean, I didn't say you're disabled. Well, I just want to make sure I'm making it clear to people that I'm not, like, in a bad way, but I just, yeah. I oh, because you don't want to, all of a sudden, like, a whole bunch of people who are actually deaf are like, man, Greg's our spokesperson, and you have to no, go I do a mind tour in your I wouldn't mind being a spokesperson for the deaf. I'm just, I want to make sure it's pretty clear up front. Like, I don't need, like, sympathy. It's not like I'm, like, oh, I'm legally deaf in an ear or something. Well, I want to tell you Does that. Does anybody say legally deaf? Legally blind is a term. I've never heard of legally Legally deaf. blonde is a term, too. <laughs> but what if they were like, hey, Greg, we don't really want you for our spokesperson because you're not the deaf. You're not I'd be that like, that's deaf. justified. Okay. See, that's what I'm worried about. They're like, you're just casual deaf. Yeah, you're only part-time deaf. I don't even have like a good story. It's not like I like, oh, I worked at, I was a roadie and I heard Mattel. No, I just for some reason can't hear well. Oh, that'd be a great story. Christine, love her to death. Mm -hmm. Great woman. Mm -hmm. Been good to me my entire life, or at least as long as I've known her. Yeah, she and she didn't know you when you were like a kid, no, right? No, but she's just been good to me. Yeah, uh, I'm getting cold by the way, by the assful over here. I like it. Um, she still for some reason cannot understand that if she is in front of me, mm -hmm. I can't hear her. And that if the, if the, I am washing dishes, she is not louder than the sink. Girl constantly trying to have conversations with me. And I'm like, babe, oh. you know I cannot hear you. Stop it. Wait, if she's in front of you? Yeah, like if we're walking on the street, she talks so softly. And she's also shorter than me, so she's lower than me. Her oh. voice, she's talking forward. It's like I can't. I have no idea what you just said. Do you, do you guys ever get in arguments because like she's trying to explain something to you and you're only half paying attention to it? Of course. I, I get that a lot too. What's your what's what is your advice for that situation? Because this happens to me a lot. Mm -hmm. We live in a very distracting world. Yeah. And you and I, you know, we we love this the the Twitter thing. Yeah. And it's never really all that important. Right. It's always just nonsense. It's never like oh you know you gotta. Luckily, my friend's bleeding to death. You better t retweet this. This was one of the things with me and Christine, right? Is mm -hmm. that when we first started dating, we obviously fell in love at work, and so when we first started dating, we're around each other all the time. Yeah. And so we were, we were one of those like. I don't know if you remember these days. We didn't hang out back then because you worked on the other side of the office. Yep. But like we were one of those like annoyingly like uh, like not like not like making out couples, but mm -hmm. like you know holding hands and like oh I remember like one time we went to pick up lunch or whatever and like she was like sitting on my lap or whatever, not like in a perverted way, mind. Oh you. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like there was one day where we went to get a sandwich, and uh, I because we used to go to that Julie's Deli. Yeah, remember? I remember that. And uh, we pulled out vitamin water. I pulled out a vitamin water and we were waiting for our sandwiches and she was checking her phone and I read the little description of the vitamin water, like triple X or whatever, and it was something stupid. And I just go, huh, I wonder if they really blah, blah, blah. And Christine just looked like, uh, w noticed that there was a pregnant pause and she was supposed to say something. She just looked up from her phone and went, pretty good. <laughs> and, I, and I burst out laughing. I'm like, well, it's finally over. <laughs> We've finally gotten to the point where we just ignore each other's company. Like it's, it's like, that's our usual joke. If one of us is like, totally out of it, zoned out into their own thing, we mm -hmm. come back and we'll just go, pretty good. Oh, that's awesome. So like, because, she gets everything, you know what I mean? Like it's the same thing. Like when I'm gonna play Titanfall for fucking ten hours in a row here, honey. See you later. You know what I mean? Like she'll do that with Guild Wars or whatever. See, or I, whatever I, I get, I get on. that level of. Uh, I can get away with that too. For, yeah. For for the most part, but there's a little bit of like, oh, honey, how's your day? And then she's telling me, and after like eight sure, minutes, sure, I'm like checking my phone, and she's like, 
you're not you're not listening to me. And I, I'm I'm good at multitasking. I, yeah. can, I can hear one thing and hear another thing. Like that was a one thing about like ma- making music and stuff like that, putting out albums, is that you have to be able to hear like 40 different things happening at the same time and pierce together, you know, piece together where where they're coming from. Some people I call them one channel mixers. It's basically <laughs> only have one input device and it's like someone is talking to me. That means I cannot do anything else. Like you have to yeah. be careful of those people cuz they can't even cross the street without getting hit by nah, cars and stuff like that. But uh you know, my fiance will be like you know, she's talking talking to me about work or something like that, and I look down and like, oh man, somebody just you know, funny tweet. S- there's this funny tweet about this like glitch in Call of Duty where the dog look actually looks like he's f- can fly. That's hilarious. Retweet, and as that's <laughs> happening, uh, she's like, well, wh- I mean, what do you think I should say to Paula about Here my raise? And I was like, exactly. Yeah. And she's yeah, like, yeah. exactly no, that what? Doesn't, that doesn't play but well. I had a friend that used to always lie during situations like yeah. that, and that actually makes it worse because like he would be on the phone and his girlfriend would be like. What are you doing over there? And he'd be like, I'm just eating cereal. And I'd be sitting right next to him and be like, dude, you're not eating cereal. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, I know. I just, I, I felt like saying something to get her off my, t- off my back. And I was like, so why did you say cereal? It's like 3.30 in the afternoon. Like, that's not even, doesn't even make any damn sense. Wow, look at that. Monster heaven that's up here. Damn. Remember, we're still trying to get the platinum, or the silver trophy mm-hmm. for killing one of these gosh darn archers. Skeletons. Don't call him here. an archer. He's he walks around the bow and arrow. Yeah, but don't give him that. Don't give him that credit. No. Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. Do you think that uh, they have to? Maybe we have to take all of their health away with the arrows. Get in here. Get in the home. Yeah. Well, I mean, I would. Oh, Look you're that. saying not even weaken them? Dude, we got a little archer fight Gosh, out here. Darn it. Well, whoever survives will be really weak. That's good. Because I'm wondering if we have to use all of their health on the archery. Well, that's fine. It doesn't matter. If we can get them up there, I'll just pepper them with arrows and it'll be over. Okay. Come on. They do not care about you, man. Now he does. Now he does. He's make that he's got that weird mouth. See his face? Look at his face. Oh, man. Here we go. Back in the hole. Go in the hole. <laughs> what do you think the conversation is right here? <laughs> <laughs> no, man. No, no, go, no, push me in that hole. Can you can you back up so I can shoot you? Because <laughs> I can't. Get the art. What are you doing? What are you why doing? don't you why just are, kill why me? Why are you doing this to me? Why don't you kill me with your sword like a regular man? Well, there's these things called trophies that you don't know about because you live in a video game. All right, here we go. Attempt number two of this plan. We've got them where we want them. Okay. That's three up. We need to How be many 50 arrows? Up. We have five arrows. Yeah, I think that'll be enough. All right. If they all hit, one, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, all right, hurry up. I don't count our, our oh god, I almost fell off. <laughs> I don't count our math skills. Um, um, the bow. Yeah, I know it's one of those. Now I'm like, uh, am I hitting the right buttons? Mm-hmm. Right. So here we go. Arrow number one. It's one. You think I hit him? I, I, I hope it did. <laughs> Crosshairs look good. Can't really tell. I got two left, Brian. Oh, man. Remember, trophies take a second to pop, too. Yep. I'm, I'm, I'm just adjusting a little bit. That's good. I like that. That's a good angle right there. All right. Last one. This should rotate a little bit like this. Man. Yep. <sighs> oh, hell, man. Well. What the hell, man? I don't know. I don't know what to do anymore. I don't understand. Why is this the hardest challenge in the world? This should be like the main boss of the whole game. It should be this hard. I'm not a fan of what's happening here. If he's not there again. Well, if he's not there, that means we killed him, right? Unless he got out. I was going to say, or is the game using so much, not memory or whatever, because I don't make games, I don't know. But I mean, is it doing that thing where I'm going up and he's disappearing because he's respawning somewhere else because they need those assets somewhere else? You killed him. What the fuck? There's experience in there. Yeah, you killed him. I'm perplexed. Yeah, now I'm now I'm now really we're gonna confused. open the trophies. 
and see if it's well. <sighs> You did Because remember, you yes. This all started when we shot the first time we ever did this challenge. I thought, isn't this when it crashed? We thought we had it. We shot all the way over there, and then it yep. crashed. Yep. So perhaps it did work that time. What's going on with my, my trophies? This is upsetting. Am I getting hit right now? Yep. Yep. You're getting hit right now. It. The XMB so oh, fast. Oh, there he is. No, this is a different guy. I saw him coming when we were coming down. No, I know. He was watching his friend die. I always feel like in the I'm cousin watching tomb. my friend die. I don't think that song would have done. And I got so dead. I got so many dead friends. Whoa. 31%. That's this not bad. This is BS, by the way. I haven't sunk this PlayStation 3, obviously. I'm way. I'm, mm. I have a lot. I've beaten this Don't game. get all like. It's, I've it's beaten this game is what I'm saying. You're a grower, not a shower. <laughs> That's funny. Delicious fish. God damn it. What the hell? More than 15 meters. We're definitely more. Yeah, I did that the was safeties. 54. You did the safety blocks. Bitch. What a bitch. I don't even know what to do anymore. I'm so angry. Everybody in the comments, let us know what we're screwing up. I'm sure you know. You're all watching it, laughing your ass off. Should I, I guess I shouldn't destroy our pit because we still have to keep using it for some reason. Just, Get oh, out of here. Now it's full of spiders. I have no beef with you, Spidey. Yeah, there's no trophies for killing those dudes, right? No, not that I know of. <sighs> I'm angry now. I hate Minecraft. We did everything we could do. I mean, there's, I, that's, we took all the best, the greatest fan theories, and we rolled them into one exercise, and it just did not work. Now everyone will feel my wrath. I don't understand. Yeah, I hope all these guys burst into flames like idiots. Jerks. Look at this. He's trying to get one last grab. One last hot nighttime grab. Get some hot action. They burn. Still what the hell? Come on. There's no justice. If if I was lit on fire, I'd want you to stab me to death too. I mean, I, like if would I was, you sh would you attack me as I came to help to do it? No, probably not. That's not my style. I'm angry. <sighs> That's really annoying. Yeah. I don't know what to do. I, people you in have the comments will tell us. Yeah, people in the comments, if you have an idea, let us know. We've done everything. We tried the cousin tunnel. We t we tried the uh, the cousin tunnel. I like that. <laughs> Skeletor's cousin tomb. Tunnels. Skeletor's tomb. I'm we tried the speed. tower. I didn't start the stupid clock. Man. Everything sucks. Just eat a steak. Relax. The worst. Have some pork. Yeah, pork. Chops. Relax. What do you want to make? <sighs> a coffin. Put you want to make a game coffin? in it? Like the Undertaker. Man, Undertaker he was great. Yeah. How old is he now? Like 60? Uh, I don't know. He's he, old. He's got to be at least 60. He's a great wrestler. The best, some would say. The female, they call him, you know. The female? The phenom. Oh, I don't think that. I was like, they call him the they female. They don't call him the female. They'd be dead. <laughs> you, you die if you do that. Uh, what's going on with uh, you? You subscribe to that WWE Network? No. You should. You did, right? Yeah, I did. Do you like it? Are you watching it a lot? I don't watch it a lot, but I watch it once in a while. So, do you put on old matches or watch new stuff? Oh, all I'm doing is watching old stuff. Oh, really? Remember, I, 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 you know, I justified its existence when I came home drunk after a Damon show and watched the '94 Royal Rumble to yep. watch uh, Undertaker get, you know, buried by Yokozuna. Spoiler. Oh my God, it's so good. And then the other day, I, you know, I was turned it on and they had the, the document or the documentary interview kind of thing with Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels about their whole thing. Watched all that. Yep. Like I'm only watching the old stuff. One day I'll come back and do new stuff, I guess, but. Royal Rumble's Roar was my favorite because it was really? like because you got to see everybody. Yeah, and it was like a nice you, you got like a it. it was like a surprise every minute, right? Like you never know who was gonna come out. Sometimes they I remember like they used to leak the order of them back in the day, mm -hmm. and there would always be like question marks and stuff like that. But why I like the Royal Rumble was because occasionally there would be like this dude you hadn't seen in like ten years would come out. But they also pad it with a lot of uh, jobbers. They would call them. Yeah, back in the day, the jobbers. Yeah. Well, they, they, by the you know nowadays they're all good people. Mm -hmm. My favorite was the one, I guess I shouldn't say my favorite, but one of the most memorable when I was still watching was when Triple H and Stone Cold are in it, mm -hmm. and they're the only two in the ring. They cleared everybody else out, and they were just brawling. And then the next entrant was the Hurricane. Oh, you know, the hurricane, yeah, yeah, yeah. The superhero. Yep. And he ran in, and they were uh, Stone Cold and uh, Triple H had each other like in a collar and elbow tie up or something. And he walked in and just put his hands on both their necks like he was about to choke slam both them. Mm -hmm. And Triple H and Stone Cold looked at each other and then beat the hell out of the hurricane and threw him out of the ring. I, I like, remember that. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> I like when uh, I play. We have a lot of stuff. Wow, look at all this junk. Hoarder house. I like when a, a dude would run down the aisle. They'd like do the countdown and right. he'd run down the aisle, he'd jump in the ring, and they'd throw him out yeah, immediately. immediately gone. 
Wasn't there some nonsense a couple years back where like they threw somebody over the ropes, but his feet didn't touch the ground? And oh, that's he, all the time. And he climbed back in, and then he ended up winning. Like, I mean, not you know they they uh, they manufacture the nonsense, so they're used to it. Oh yeah, I'm aware of that. <laughs> <laughs> I always liked the uh, yeah the, the I, that was the '94 Royal Rumble is the same one where Bret Hart and Lex Luger knocked each other out at the same time. Oh yeah, that, they both had to fight Yokozuna, which I hated Yokozuna, but even I was like. Seems a bit unfair to make him fight twice at WrestleMania. Didn't they then have him drop the belt on a second match? Didn't they? Uh, I remember Yokozuna in the Rumble. It would take like twelve dudes to get him out. Yeah, yeah. Once he did that, rest in peace, Yokozuna. Mm -hmm. Not yeah, even he, like the Undertaker. I mean, like you know, he's dead. Yeah, he actually he died for real. Also, I need to find this is a, this is a tall order. So stay with me. Mm -hmm. But if I could find someone taller than me in Link here, I do a really good Paul Bear impression. I'm sick right now. I can't do it right now. Okay. A future Minecraft, I'll do it for you. And it would be awesome to have uh, somebody who could be my Undertaker. How are you going to find somebody taller than That's you? the problem. I'm already tall. But here's what I was – it, it almost works out. Because if I can find somebody taller than me to do it, uh, IG and Nintendo's Jose Sanchez could be the giant Gonzalez. Because he's taller than me. So if I could get somebody as taller as Jose to be Undertaker, mm -hmm. Jose could then be the giant Gonzalez. And I could be Paul Bear with my urn. We'd have a great group custom. But a lot of things have to come together for that to happen, as I just said. Who's Jose Sanchez? <laughs> Damn it! I do this every time <laughs> I talk about so Jose. Jose Sanchez works for Electric Playground, and I've known Jose Sanchez literally my entire video game career, and I love him. I think that do you, you do you not know Jose Sanchez? No, I know who Jose okay. Sanchez is, but, but you I'm just like, thought that I was talking about the wrong person. You said IGN's Jose Sanchez. Maybe I just need to get Jose Sanchez hired here. So I mean Jose Otero from IGN Nintendo. Right. Be the giant Gonzalez. Now switching gears, let's talk about how much I love Jose Sanchez. Jose Otero would be a fantastic giant Gonzalez. Yeah, That's yeah really Jose good. Sanchez would not be. Hold on, before you get into that, I have an idea. If you want to do the pallbearer thing, you got to do one of those things where you get on your knees, but you put shoes on your knees. <laughs> you uh, can uh, be, a, uh, you can be like. That's really, actually a good idea. See, and then oh I'll bring you down. And then Undertaker. Now, there you go. Yeah. And then your casting I'm process. Your casting process from there begins. Yeah, that's from, much better. That's from, much yeah, better. Yeah, because then look, I just cut three feet off of your process. I like what right? you're doing. You're making things work. Instead of you being like, "Can I find the world's tallest man to make me look short?" <laughs> Let's make you look short. Bring the whole math problem back down All right. to earth. All right. This is why I keep you around. People I know. Understand? Don't understand our relationship. Sometimes they say. Well, because one day no you're gonna walk that. up to somebody and be like, "Hey, you're Jose Sanchez, right?" And he's gonna be like, "No, I'm not." You I saying that, that? I did that on up at noon. When I, we did that Mario demo, and I was like, you don't want to play Mario against Jose Sanchez. <laughs> and, and, and the Jose, like, and I'm like, oh, I mean, Otero. Yeah. Jose Sanchez, you probably don't want to play Mario against either, but I don't know. Mm -mm. Anyways, I love Jose Sanchez. Everyone should look him up. He's great. He, he works on Electric Playground, which is a Canadian show that's on American TV or was. Yep. I don't know if it still is. Is it still? Anybody know? But, Ho but also, Jose Otero is a good man, too. I don't know about that. I'm not sold on him yet. You don't even know his name. It's true. That once I know your name, you're made at IGN. You're but until make, you're, then, you're gonna make this GTFO. this slight against him and his race. What? Whoa! 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 Are you thinking that all Hispanics are named Sanchez? <laughs> <laughs> that is not at all. Well, I guess Tina was. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Actually, no. Tina's last name was Jose. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this has been another Minecraft Let's Play with Greg and Brian. Remember, every day at 10:30, we post a new one, and it's just this normal us getting depressed over trophies and then. Talking about people we know in the industry, I yep. guess. And sometimes we punch rocks. And wrestling. Uh, remember, if you want to watch these without all of IGN's other stuff, you can go to YouTube.com slash Minecraft IGN. Get the straight feed there. Or just go to IGN.com or YouTube.com slash IGN, and you get all the Minecraft videos there. We'll be back tomorrow with 15 minutes more of gameplay. But until then... Uh, just dance. Yeah. Make sure you go to... Um, to If you're in Spain, go to Minecraft Sanchez. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, I want you to. I want you. To, I don't know Jose Sanchez. Oh, it's Don Fubar, I think, is his Twitter. Everybody, I need you to tweet today at Jose Sanchez and say, "Great job on the Minecraft Let's Play at IGN." And he'll be all like, "What? I'm working out. I don't understand." <laughs> That's what he does now. He works out. He's he is a big time team fat quitter. Oh, really? I can't stomach that. You know that. So that's why you want him to be a wrestler. What? You want him to be a wrestler. Giant Gonzalez. No, I know that, but I don't. He'd be more of like right now. He's probably more of a Brock Lesnar. Oh wow, really? He's not that built yet, but that's the kind of upper body he has. As far as like, he's got a very long torso, Jose Sanchez, in a big old head. That's good. We yeah. need that for when we start our league. <laughs> I can't believe you guys were upset when we went away for a league. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>